In the hollow of the oak, there lived a spoke, who spoke, noke. And the spoke were an odd folk, who only liked uh, Skittles. Yeah, they only like Skittles. So, one day this um, giant walks by and drops some Skittles and like, you know, the uh, spoke picks up the Skittles and like goes and like, um, like tells the other spokes and uh, um, that he's got Skittles. But, you know, in their language, and, uh, it, uh, yeah, pretty much. And so, as time went on, this giant kept leaving Skittles. And apparently, he thought he was feeding the ants. But, um, in reality, he was feeding the spoke folk. So, yeah, and uh, one day he bends over and, um, or bends down and, uh, yeah, and they speak to him in Noak and he's all like, you know, hey, you want to come inside with me? And so they, uh, they live in his cupboard or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, or under the staircase, like, well, like that character that I can't name because it's probably copyrighted, but, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so anyways, this, the elder spoke dies and then the spoke get angry because, you know, the kids are backstabbing, you know, moron who uh, apparently can't raise a few spoke. And uh, then they tag along in his backpack and on the way to school and they uh, make a big scene and uh, shit happens. And then uh, the whole world blows up and that's... That's pretty much how the apocalypse, how the zombie apocalypse happened. So, if you're wondering what to do about the zombie apocalypse, you might want to talk to the spoke folk. But you might need to learn Noak. Yeah, just, just in case. That in Chinese, because, you know, they could always spread diseases from the bats that are, uh, you know, spreading COVID and whatnot, but <laughs> not that, not that that actually happens, but, you know, okay, uh, anyways, so, yeah, and after the zombie apocalypse, you know, it was like H.G. Wells' time machine and, like, you know, the, the Morlocks and the Eloy and, you know, and all the people with Asperger's were Eloy, and all the people who were neurotypicals ended up as Morlocks. But uh, at the end of the story, you know, when the sun blows up, the uh, Eloy finally, uh, you know, they kill all the Morlocks. But you know that 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 could always be rearranged. Um, anyways, you know, I'm a little fuzzy on my, uh, future history. And so, you know, the sun explodes and then, you know, everybody goes into a black hole and, you know, they emerge in a Death Star and they're in another universe and, you know, and it's a Schwarzschild black hole and, you know, it turns into a wormhole and, you know, and then, uh... You know, and then Bobby, you know, one of the Eloy, is like sitting down in a diner in uh, on planet Gatuba, and he's like, 
He's got some ketchup, but it's not really ketchup. It's like this Gatubian ketchup. And so he squirts the ketchup onto some fish and chips. He's all like, but you know, it's not like the English fish and chips. It's much better. And, uh, you know, not to insult an entire country, but <laughs> then, uh, you know, as he's like squirting the ketchup, the Gatubian ketchup on the fish and chips um, that are better than England's, um, there's like, a, you know, a giant tornado and he, he grabs the tornado by, the, by with his hand and he wrestles the tornado and you know, and then he reverses time and, you know, it's like everything just goes back to the way it was. And, uh, you know, here are these, uh, here are these spoke people, you know, these little folk, you know, living on an anthill and, you know, all of a sudden the skittle drops and, you know, that was the big bang. So anyways... If you're wondering how the Big Bang happened, you know, that's a great way to explain it to your kids. <laughs> Just don't use the word shit. But, uh, yeah, anyways, bye.